Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, I'll be doggone. Did we just see hey, you over there somewhere? Hey, you thought I said goodbye and then I walked over. <laughs> Look at that. What? Magic. I'm I know. Telling you. Magic. Genie, like, ding. <laughs> so I'm ready for a warm-up. Are you? Yeah, I'll pass ready. I was ready before the cold got here. Well, you're going to like tomorrow. Tomorrow morning Ooh. is quite cold, but tomorrow afternoon is going to be lovely. Oh, good. Just how lovely? So lovely. <laughs> Can't give it all away in the first second. Take a look right now with the threat tracker. We are staying in the green today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Now, we were in the yellow first thing this morning ahead of that freeze warning, but since that's out of the way, well, we're getting a little bit warmer as we head into the afternoon, but I wouldn't call us downright warm. 1122 on 31 triple Doppler, and conditions are completely dry. They will remain exactly that way as we head through the rest of the day today and even into tomorrow. Now, we've seen quite the warm up in the last several hours, about 20 degrees or so. However, because we started so cold this morning, even a 20 degree warm up is still leaving us feeling quite frigid. If you're headed out the door for lunch early today in Scottsboro, temperatures right now are 43 degrees, 44 in Decatur, the same in Haley Bowl and up to 46 in Muscle Shoals. So even though we've seen a big change, we're still on the chilly side of things and you're going to want your coat. It might be feeling like this, but today is the first day of spring, and before too, too long, we will start to feel a little bit warmer. Our late afternoon high temperature today will sit in the upper 50s, and we'll hit that right around 3 o'clock. We will keep the sunshine and a breeze, but it won't be that gusty wind that we had earlier this week. It will just be a nice breeze. Now, one thing that is very, very true to spring, especially in North Alabama, is the pollen. That is here to stay. We're sitting in the high and excessively high categories for the next several days, even much of the work week and next week as well. So like we learned about a few minutes ago, make sure you are planning ahead before you head outside. As we head through the rest of the week, we're going to see more sunshine and warmer temperatures. So it's likely that you'll want to be outside. But note that that pollen is already out. Sunny and 69 tomorrow, an absolutely perfect day to answer Demetria's question. Cloudy and 69 on Thursday. And then on Friday, we have rain. Now, when we spoke at this point yesterday, I told you Thursday was looking like the rainier of the two days. However, the cold front that's bringing all that soggy weather, that's slowed down. That means Thursday will stay cloudy but dry, and Friday is now looking like the bigger rain day. We'll see some isolated showers very, very early in the morning Friday, as early as 630. However, the true rain does not make it to the Tennessee Valley until just about lunchtime, even shortly thereafter. From that point, we see widespread rain meaning almost all of us are seeing rain and we see it for the rest of the day all the way through your evening commute home, your Friday evening plans and into the wee hours of the morning on Saturday. However, it's not especially heavy rain. We're going to have rain that whole time, but it's not going to be a torrential washout and there is no threat for severe weather with this system. Even still though, if you're headed out and about, you're going to want an umbrella or a rain jacket with you just because of those pesky light showers that just won't seem to quit. The good news is when we get to the afternoon on Saturday, we'll have a whole lot of sun, and that's repeated again on Sunday. Saturday, we're talking about a high temperature in the low 60s, but Sunday, we're looking at 71. So all in all, a lovely weekend to be outside. Sunday is the warmer of the two days. Now, we're rain-locked on either side of the weekend, and that means that you need to really soak in the temperatures on Saturday and Sunday while you can. Mm -hmm. Good points right there. Yeah, very good points. What was the point, Chris? Ooh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I know wow. you were listening. You just did it so dirty like that. I know she does. Did you dirty. see that coming? Yeah, I, no, did. I didn't see That's it. That's because I love y'all. That was out of left field, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> 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 